In this example, the NMOS and PMOS transistors are matched. Therefore, K dash into W by L of NMOS equals KP dash into W by L for the PMOS that's equal to 1 milliampere per volt square. The other data given is the threshold voltage of the NMOS equals threshold voltage of the PMOS with negative sign equals 1 volt. We need to estimate drain current for the PMOS, drain current for the NMOS and output voltage for the input voltage VI equals 0 volts, 2.5 volts and minus 2.5 volt. Now let us draw the circuit diagram for the input voltage VI equals 0 volts. For VI is equal to 0 volts, the circuit is as shown in this figure. We can calculate VGS for the NMOS as well as VGS for the PMOS. The VGS for the NMOS is calculated by VG minus VS equation. VG equals VI equals 0 volt and Vs is at minus 2.5 volt. Therefore, Vg minus Vs is 2.5 volt. Similarly, the gate source voltage of the PMOS can be computed by subtracting gate voltage and the source voltage. Vg equals Vi, that is 0 volt. Vs equals 2.5 volt. Therefore, Vg minus Vs equals 0 minus of 2.5 is minus 2.5 volt. From this we can calculate VGS minus VT for NMOS, VGS minus VT for PMOS that is as shown here. VGS minus VTN for the NMOS is 2.5 minus 1 volt equals 1.5 volt. VGS minus VT for the PMOS is VGS minus VTP equals minus 2.5 minus of minus 1 volt equals minus 1.5 volt. These two values shows that NMOS and PMOS transistors both are turned on. Since both are conducting the VGD of NMOS and VGD of the PMOS both are equal and they are operating at saturation region. Therefore, IDP and IDN the saturation current can be calculated as shown here. The output voltage for this circuit is zero since both transistors are conducting. The saturation current equation for NMOS is half of Kn dash into W bell into VGS minus VTN whole square. Substituting the values of Kn dash into W bell as 1, VGS as 2.5 and VTN as 1 volt. IDN is found to be 1.125 milliampere. Similarly, we can calculate saturation current through the PMOS transistor using this equation. IDP equals half of KP dash into W by L VGS minus VTP the whole square. Substituting the values of KP dash into W by L VGS and VTP, IDP is 1.125 milliampere. IDN and IDP values are same, which is 1.125 milliampere. Next, let us calculate the output voltage, drain current of NMOS and drain current of PMOS for input voltage 2.5 volt. The circuit diagram is redrawn for input voltage 2.5 volt. The VGS of NMOS can be calculated similar to the one that is calculated for case 1. VGS of NMOS is VG minus VS. VG is 2.5. VS is minus 2.5. VG minus VS gives 5 volt. Similarly, the, N, the voltage across gate source voltage of PMOS can be calculated using VG minus VS. VG is 2.5 volt. VS is 2.5 volt. Therefore, VGS of PMOS is 0. Since VGS of PMOS is 0, PMOS is turned off. The VGS of NMOS is 5 volt, which is greater than threshold voltage. The NMOS is turned off. The simplified circuit for this condition 
can be rewritten as shown in this figure. Input voltage equals 2.5 volt. Vg minus Vt, 2.5 minus 1 gives 1.5 volt. So it's the input for the NMOS transistor. Vs is at minus 2.5 volt. Vd equals V0 equals if you apply uh, the IDN current flowing through this loop is IDN. Therefore, V0 is equal to minus 10 into IDN. 10 in, minus 10 into IDN. Let's assume that this transistor is in operating in triode region. Since output is negative, this transistor is acting like a pass transistor. The transistor is on. The source is at minus 2.5 volt. The drain also approximately should be equal to minus 2.5 volt. If this is minus 2.5 volt, therefore VGD will be greater than the threshold voltage of this transistor. Therefore, the transistor here operates in triode region. We can use the triode current equation and calculate the values of output voltage, IDN and IDP. That is as follows. The triode current equation IDN is given by IDN equals Kn dash into W by VGS minus VT times VDS minus half of VDS square. Let us call this as equation 1. The drain source voltage across the transistor is given by Vd minus Vs. Vd equals V0 minus Vs is at minus 2.5. Therefore, Vds equals V0 minus of minus 2.5 volt. V0 is minus 10 times IDN. If you substitute and simplify, Vds equals 2.5 minus 10 times IDN. Let us call as equation 2. The equation 1 can be further simplified by neglecting the second term half of Vds square since Vds is small. That is done as shown below. Neglecting the second term from equation 1, the simplified equation for IDN is Kn dash into W bell into Vgs minus Vt times Vds. Now substituting the Vds from equation 2, the resulting equation is as shown here. IDN equals Kn dash into W bell Vgs minus Vt into 2.5 minus 10 times IDN. Substituting the values of Vgs, Vt, the resulting equation is as shown here. On simplification, IDN is found to be 0.244 milli ampere. Now we can calculate output voltage based on this IDN. We know that V0 is equal to minus 10 times IDN. Substituting the IDN here, V0 equals minus 2.44 volts. This, is, this voltage is approximately equal to source voltage, which is minus 2.5 volt. The drain source voltage can be calculated as using equation 2. Vds equals 2.5 minus 10 times IDN. Substituting the value of IDN, we obtain Vds equals 0 0.06 volts. This voltage is very small. Vds is smaller than Vgs minus Vt. Therefore, the transistor operates in triode region. So, rewriting the circuit and substituting the values that are already computed. V is 2.5 volt from the given data. VGS is 5 volt. V0 is minus 2.44 volt. The IDN what we estimated is uh, from the previous uh, values 0.244 milli ampere. IDN is 0.244 milli ampere. The drain's resistance here becomes very small since transistor operates in triode region. RDS is very small. So this can be shown from this drain characteristics. Since VDS is small, the transistor operates in triode region. RDS also it is small. Now let us consider the third case where input voltage is 
minus 2.5 volt. The circuit can be redrawn for the input voltage as minus 2.5 volt. For VI is equal to minus 2.5 volt, the conditions will be reversed as discussed in case 2. For this voltage, P MOS is turned on, N MOS is turned off. The steps which are to be carried out for the case 3 is similar to the one discussed in case 